India has the world's largest dairy animal population with 200 million cattle and 100 million buffaloes and stands first in milk production. The country is also the third largest egg producer in the world at over 180 million eggs per day and the world's sixth largest producer of poultry meat. India also ranks high in the number of sheep, goats and pigs in the world. While the average milk yield from Indian cattle and buffaloes is around 5 kilograms per day, it is more than 30 kilograms per day in the USA. This suboptimal productivity is due to a range of issues. These include nutrition, genetic makeup, husbandry practices and diseases. Furthermore, WHO reports that at least 61% of human pathogens are zoonotic. Disease diagnosis and control is thus essential not only for improving animal health and productivity but also for human health. Welcome to National Institute of Animal Biotechnology, NIAB. An Autonomous Institute of the Department of Biotechnology, DBT, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India, NIAB has been set up exclusively for carrying out translational research leading to the development of novel vaccines and diagnostics. NIAB was established to produce globally competitive livestock products, pharmaceuticals and biologicals through innovative technologies. I am committed to recruiting scientists with exceptional academic and scientific track records to generate an excellent interactive group helping each other technologically. We will provide world-class infrastructural facilities that enable scientists to use modern tools efficiently. Another unique feature of NIAB is to promote bio-entrepreneurship by providing conducive environment for commercial tenants involved in the development of various products for animal health and productivity. NIAB's research is broadly focused on various themes related to animal health and productivity. Under the theme of animal genetics and genomics, the primary objective is to understand the structure, organization, function, expression and regulation of genes in livestock. With transgenic technology, the key areas of focus include production of bioactive molecules, evaluation of safety and quality of transgenic livestock and livestock products. On the subject of reproductive biotechnology, the focus is on rapid production of genetically superior animals and semen sexing, obtain more female births in livestock. The list of specializations includes animal cloning, stem cell research, safety and quality control standards for production of gametes and embryo and addressing infertility problems through endocrinological studies. Under the theme of animal health, viral, bacterial and protozoan diseases are addressed and the key areas of focus include DNA vaccines, marker vaccines, RNA therapeutics, nanodiagnostics and medicines, novel adjuvants and antibiotics as well as antiviral drugs, virulence mechanisms, molecular pathogenesis and host pathogen interactions are also being studied at NIAB. Another facet of NIAB's focus is on zoonotic diseases, almost a third of which are transmitted from animals to humans. With the theme of nutrition enrichment, NIAB plans for novel feed technologies and nanotechnology-based nutrient delivery systems for enhancing bioavailability of nutrients and reducing methane production. Bioinformatics at NIAB aims at big data handling, analysis and mining for marker discovery and comparative genomics of livestock species besides applying it for systems biology approaches to understand physiopathology of livestock diseases, infertility, etc. Most importantly, NIAB's mandate is translational research aiming at improvement of livestock productivity and health. 
development of trained manpower for industry and formation of an interface between public institutions and animal biotechnology industry is also envisaged. As a matter of pride for NIAB, scientists have helped the Animal Husbandry Department of Telangana State for diagnosis of hemoprotozoan diseases. The institute is currently working at an interim facility at Miyapur, Hyderabad, which was inaugurated on 2nd September 2013. The state-of-the-art research infrastructure at NIAB includes molecular biology research laboratories, cell and tissue culture laboratories and lab animal facility, a wide range of most modern equipment such as fax, confocal microscope, FPLC, HPLC and micromanipulator help the team in its efforts. NIAB has been allotted 100 acres of land by the state government for its permanent campus in an area adjoining the University of Hyderabad. The upcoming facilities include contemporary lab modules, small animal house, large animal facility, incubation center, administrative offices, auditorium, canteens, hostel, guest house, staff quarters, and community center with modern amenities for families. Collaborative research with international research institutions and acclaimed national institutes like IVRI, NDRI, Ivedi, and state veterinary colleges and animal husbandry departments. We have already established national and international collaborations. This is done to strengthen our abilities for creating disease-free herds and for enhancing productivity for animal. Furthermore, NIAB reaches out to various schools and colleges under bridge program to inculcate scientific temperament and need for animal-based research in young minds. NIAB also aims at human resource development through various initiatives such as research scholar programs leading to PhD, training of postdoctoral fellows and research fellows, workshops, seminars, conferences and initiatives involving farmers and field veterinarians. We are generating manpower, mainly training PhD scholars and that is aimed to generate a good breed of competitive researchers with translational and collaborative frame of mind and who understand social needs mainly of our farmers as well as general mass. We are starting a program of MSc in Animal Biotechnology and Quantitative Genetics and Genomics. This is a unique course in Animal Sciences which will generate appropriate manpower with special skills for future. Truly, NIAB is heralding the dawn of a new era for improving animal health and productivity, farmers' well-being and promoting One Health in India.